good morning friends very good morning to one and all my channel name is ravindra prasad pendiala hope you know the name of my channel welcome to my channel in this video we'll see or we will learn how to find the magnetic force the force in magnetic fields magnetic force is nothing but the force in magnetic fields before knowing about the magnetic force we'll learn about the electric force just we will just have a recap on electric force okay. electric force electric force is basically given by the force let us assume the electric force as f e bar e indicates the electric field as the force is a vector i just represented with bar it is given by f e bar is equal to q times electric field e the unit of force is newton this is the electric force on a charge q when it is placed in an electric field e the charge q, the q is nothing but the charge and e is nothing but the electric field in which the charge is placed so the charge q can be here either a static charge or it is a moving charge the charge can be either a static charge or can be a moving charge static means uh, it is not moving from one place to another place moving means the if the charge is in motion we can call it as a moving charge so whether the charge is static or moving the force remains the same and it is given by f e bar is equal to q times e bar newtons we got this expression from the basic law of uh, electrostatics which is called as coulomb's law okay so this is about the electric force given by uh, coulomb's law in electrostatics now we will see what is meant by a magnetic force or how can we understand the magnetic force okay so magnetic force basically see the property of magnetic force is it exists magnetic force exists only on magnetic force exists only on moving charges moving charges let me erase this portion magnetic force exists on moving charges whereas on uh, static charges the magnetic force is zero okay uh, let us uh, represent the magnetic force with f m bar f m bar is nothing but magnetic force whereas uh, electric force is represented with f e bar f m bar is equal to zero for static charges means on the static charges the magnetic force is said to be zero and what is the magnetic force on moving charge so f m bar the same magnetic force is given by an equation on moving charge how can we know this equation or how can we write the equation now we will see let us assume that the charge is moving in this direction with velocity v bar and it is placed in a region where we have the magnetic field which is existing and it is given by b bar okay so in the region we have a magnetic field b bar in that region the charge is moving with a velocity v bar in this direction so you will have a force which is perpendicular to both the vectors so that force is the magnetic force f m bar so the force on the charge q which is play which is moving with a velocity v placed in a magnetic field b is always perpendicular to the field containing the vectors b bar and v bar now how can i uh, write the equation for that uh, f m bar it is given by q times v bar cross b bar it is a cross product so v is a vector uh, velocity vector 
B is a magnetic field vector. When we have a charge which is moving with velocity V placed in a magnetic field B, we have the magnetic force Fm bar given by Q times V bar cross P bar, whereas on static charges the magnetic force is zero. We have the magnetic force only on moving charges. This is the basic difference between uh, electric force and magnetic force. Now, why we have the magnetic force only on moving charges, not on static charges? Okay, so this is a question. So according to my knowledge, we will understand like this. When we have a magnetic field in the region, so um, Q, which is static, so it uh, because of the static charge the current is zero is it right when we have a charge moving then only we have current and we have seen from the properties of magnetism when we have a current then we have a magnetic field if there is no current there is no magnetic field in this region okay so that it will not affect the existing magnetic field when we have a static charge, due to this static charge, the current is zero and the field is zero and it is not affecting the existing magnetic field. Now, we'll see that with the help of some diagrams. So, you have a magnetic field in the space uh, given like this with some arrow marks and you have a static charge you placed a charge which is not moving in that magnetic field okay Be because of this static charge the current is zero the magnetic field is zero okay let us assume the field which is in the region as b existing bx indicates the field which is existing in the region and bp indicates the field which is produced due to the charge as the produced field is zero it is not affecting the existing magnetic field this is the first case let us see the second case you have the field like this which is shown with the arrow marks so let us assume this field as Bx, this is the existing magnetic field and you have a charge Q moving with the same, uh, moving with the velocity which is in the same direction of uh, existing magnetic field. So you have a magnetic field which is uh, uh, around this uh, current movement. So this is called as a produced magnetic field produced magnetic field this produced magnetic field now will affect the existing magnetic field hence we can have the force experienced by the charge moving with some velocity q okay so in the uh, this is according to my knowledge in this way we can understand that why the magnetic force or why uh, the fo the magnetic force is only on moving charge but not on static charge okay now we will see for example if in a region if for example if in a region we have we have magnetic field both magnetic field and electric field in the region or medium if we have both magnetic field and electric field existing in the region now how can i find the force experienced by the moving charge in a region where we have both electric field and magnetic field so the net force is given by ft bar ft bar indicates the total force or the net force it is just the summation of two forces one is the electric force and the next one is magnetic force the electric force as we have seen just in the last uh, mm, in the first uh, part of our video Fe bar plus Fm bar 
F E bar is nothing but the electric force and F M bar is nothing but the magnetic force. F E bar is equal to Q E bar. Q times the electric field and F M bar is equal to Q times the cross product between V and B. So this is the net force on the moving charge which is uh, placed in an electric field as well as in magnetic field B. Okay, so this is the electric field E and this is the magnetic field B. The unit is Newtons and this equation is called as Lorentz force equation. Lorentz equation or Lorentz force equation. Lorentz, Maxwell and Faraday, these are the three scientists who worked majorly on the moving charges. That's why we got this name. This is the name of the charge. Okay, so in this way we can understand the force on a moving charge in a magnetic field as well as in electric field. Hope you like this video. So if uh, you have any doubts, please post them in the comment section. Please post them in the comment section. If you really like this video, please uh, share and subscribe this among your uh, friends. So share and subscribe among your friends. Happy learning. Thank you very much. Bye.